Digital financial services can help alleviate poverty and catalyze economic development. But suppose you're in a country where many people are not using these services. There are many possible causes. Which are the most significant? How can you find the root of the problem? Policymakers now have a new tool to answer these questions. The decision tree for improving digital financial inclusion from the Center for Global Development. The tree helps policymakers examine the constraints on the supply and demand side that might prevent people from accessing digital financial services, such as limited competition or low trust in providers. To start, look at how high service fees are in your country compared to others with similar characteristics. High costs for using digital financial services can signal a supply-side constraint, while low costs suggest that demand constraints are more pervasive. Then, look at times where service usage significantly increased or decreased in the past. What changed that encouraged people to modify their behavior? The answers can help you pinpoint the binding constraints on service usage and discard less important factors. By using these and other principles of the decision tree, policymakers can identify binding constraints and prioritize and enact the changes that will boost financial inclusion and benefit their countries. Learn more at cgdebt.org slash decision tree.